Yo. Okay. Uh, so I actually got requested to walk someone through how to do uh, dim D2 armor picker, all that good stuff. So I'm going to start off by doing that. Uh, we are at six minutes ish in the stream. So I will give him that timestamp and then uh, we'll get it going. So basically, if you use dim, dim is really helpful. You can see I'm on my warlock and like say if i wanted i don't know like is luna you can just search is luna so here's all of my is luna rules i have two this one's more of a pve role this one's more of a pvp role uh you know i want my pvp is luna you can just drag and drop and then it's just immediately dim super useful in your inventory uh if you wanted to you could even drag and drop boom and now it's equipped. So it's actually on my character, as you can see right here. So it's actually on my character and not just in the inventory like the other one. And you can do that with anything. You know, I can take, um, say I wanted an out of bounds equipped instead of my Ikelos. There you go, out of bounds, easy, done. So Dim is super useful for that. Uh, you can also search by like perk names, like say I wanted to have everything that had Vorpal on it, right? So you just search up Vorpal, Vorpal weapon. This shows all of my weapons in my vault that have Vorpal weapon. Um, you know, you could search is arc. So these are all my arc weapons. Boom. Lots of arc weapons. Uh, I guess it also shows arc based armor as well but anything that has that arc attribute is highlighted dim super useful basically anyone that plays destiny like highly recommend set up dim so with dim you can actually set up a, a build by using d2 armor picker in conjunction so like say i wanted to make a pve build right like a luna faction but uh luna faction boots pve build so this is selecting my Luna factions right here from these exotics. I'll get to the stats here in a second. But um, say I, I, I know for sure I want Radiant Light. So I want Radiant Light on here. I want it to be solar. Um, I want to have like Ember of Searing and Ember of Wonder. That gives me plus 10 recovery, plus 10 resilience. So I want those on my build as well. And then I always do the advanced settings on here too. So I make sure, assume all legendary items are masterworked, all exotic items are masterworked, all class items. So that basically tells you that when you're dealing with these stats, all of these items are assumed to be masterwork. Like you have, you know, this is a final build. So everything is fully leveled up. Um, that's basically just what all those settings mean. Um, you can also set, you know, ignore different affinities. Like if you have nothing but solar weapon or solar items and you're doing, you know, different stuff like radiant light or powerful friends, like all of these things are elemental based, right? So you have to have either a void or an arc, uh, piece on to use these. So if you had, you know, just all solar, then none of these would show up. You wouldn't be able to make a build, right? So if you ignore the elemental affinities i don't really have to do that just because i have plenty of armor pieces spread out uh across all my different armors um <clears throat> i also heavily recommend the show wasted stats in an extra column so this is really really good for trying to min max your builds and then try and optimize the wasted stats so that starts to do like half mods things like that um you could do builds with no wasted stats but that's pretty hard to get, especially if you are isolating down to one type of exotic item. If you only have a couple, you know, rolls of that exotic armor piece, it's going to be really unlikely that you're going to get something that has no wasted stats. Um, so I always make sure these two are checked and then I make sure that everything is assumed to be master worked. Um, this is light or, you know, light based or stasis based uh, subclasses. They already have the strand kind of here waiting. But Ember of Searing, Ember of Wonder, um, basically those are going to be affecting my stats. So the final build, I want to make sure that these are checked 
so that the final numbers for my build are shown correctly. Uh, same with radiant light, you know, it's, I usually try and add a radiant light in there um, just because I try and get like reactive pulse and reactive pulse and radiant light kind of bounce off each other. And that just keeps my strength from being super low. Um, if you're a hunter, you're almost always gonna be running powerful friends, PVE, PVP, just because that plus 20 mobility almost every hunter build is going to be running some kind of mobility just for your dodge because everything is based off the dodge um so since this is pve i definitely want to mark it as a hundred resilience i almost never recommend someone to go under a hundred um it, it's hit or miss you know it it ups your damage reduction like you here you can see at 10 it's up to 40 percent right anything in pve that you do you want that damage reduction gambit included if you can if you can you know deal with it just because they're all uh, there are all of those uh those pve ads in gambit um doesn't really affect your pvp so much but anything pve related always try and get up that 100 resilience um since i'm on my warlock i'm probably going to want to try and get 90 to 100 recovery um just because your rift is based off of that so you can see you know four or five second jump five seconds here five seconds four seconds you know five seconds there um so down at 80 is when you start to get a big jump from seven to eight less so from six to seven so i think eight is a good spot to like put it at a minimum just to see what i'm working with um i'm gonna probably want to run you know eight discipline as well so this is starting to narrow down you can see it's restricting my other choices so i can't get a build right now that's 10 resilience eight recovery eight discipline i can't get anything that's eight intellect it basically won't even let me choose it so um with that i'm going to be like okay well where do i want my intellect let's just do you know safely let's do down to six what is that okay that really locks me out of my strength requirements right so with that you know where where do i want to take this build do i really like care about strength or do i not care about strength because if i jump that down to 50 that's only going to let me get one so it's a one for one here so if I jumped it down to 50 and it let me get up to like 80 strength, then that'd be like, okay, I'd rather run 50 intellect than 60 intellect in that kind of instance. Uh, let's go ahead and stick with 60 and then that'll lead me at 50 here. And that's kind of narrowing down what this build looks like. Um, mobility, Warlock, I mean, anything, especially without powerful friends, anything above, you know, 30 uh probably wouldn't really want to try and get up to uh obviously with powerful friends that's going to bump you up additional but warlocks and titans actually move faster with low mobility because their movement is based off of their jump and not so much their uh their actual running speed so that's starting to narrow us down now i want to strategize where i want to go with this build so i want my tiers to be kind of maxed right so i have two options here that kind of max out my my total tiers you know everything combined at 40 and they're both pretty good but if you look here what's the difference i have an intellect mod on this one and a discipline mod on this one so if these are both the same kind of build right 30 10 8 8 6 50 you know if both of those are the same build i want to go with this one guess it has one more wasted stat but the total number of stats are going to be like tiers are going to be the same so this one's going to be a cheaper build because they both have three resilience mods one recovery mod each this one has a discipline which costs three energy this one has an intellect costs five energy so for this hypothetical build you know i want to choose this one cool so here's all my pieces now this is where dim comes back into you know kind of handy so I want to copy this query to dim to the clipboard come over to dim and just paste it right there and then that's going to highlight only those armor pieces right so I just want to drag and drop I want this armor piece I want this armor piece this one I want my Luna faction boots on and any you know any kind of uh, class item 
basically it doesn't really care about your class items as long as you have it mastery worked you can choose whatever affinity you want it to be energy wise and then then i'm going to go back into the game so i'm back in the game now i have my armor pieces equipped from dim i can see this one isn't leveled yet so if i wanted to finish out this build i would need to level that one to 10. Uh, everything else is done i want to change my subclass and make sure that the wonder and searing are on which they are uh, this is where i want to then you know take everything set my aspects to what i want which i want touch of flame and icarus dash you know i'm i'm a big fan of healing grenades and pve uh celestial fire i could choose incinerator i like to go in celestial fire uh burst glide healing rift and set my super well of radiance so i just want to set all of my things for my build as far as my fragments and my aspects all here now go back in and then i'm looking at okay well what do i what do i want to do with this build where do i want to go with it um like right here i just happen to have reactive pulse and radiant light on so i want to set just one of those let's just set this one just for a hypothetical uh that to radiant light so i have my reactive pulse here with radiant light those are activating each other uh i want to double check what my mods were so if i go back to um d2 armor picker i can see i need three resilience one recovery one discipline so we can set that up now so i need three resilience there's one uh there's my recovery mod so we'll just leave that for now we'll go ahead and down here we'll set a resilience mod we'll change this to a resilience mod or right, we, we needed one discipline so we'll leave that discipline and we'll just change this one to resilience so that leaves my total stats to where i wanted them to be once this piece is master worked right so that would bump that up by two 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 so everything will roll over to the next tier which is where i want it just for this hypothetical um i want to make sure that i have space on my gauntlets you know do i need to have something specifically you know stasis or arc solar void whatever it is i need to make sure that those pieces are set in those specific spots so right now i have reactive pulse i have radiant light another mod that i like to do for pve is seeking wells if you have it that kind of leaves me with a couple options up here not so much you know you want to get at least one finder mod usually for pve so if i have in, uh, like inferno whip that's a very good one for um king's fall because the only champions in there are the unstoppables so i kind of want to think at this point maybe i want to move my recovery mod so i'm going to change this to resilience so i can do at least one finder here then come over here and say okay well i have plenty of space in here maybe i'll put the recovery mod here uh, i don't really need fastball because it's pve let's look uh, maybe i want linear fusion you know loaders right whatever it is you kind of just make your build um i could then say okay well elemental charge would be a good thing so when i fully level this up i could put elemental charge there boom this piece is done move on to the next one um for pve you almost always want to try and have the uh the seasonal mod for the last couple of seasons has been a two energy cost and you get two types of damage reduction uh so this year or this season it's solar and arc so here you go with that and then all right well what else can i put here maybe i want to put a fusion reserves you want to always have for pve a sacrificial piece so for me right now it's this one so before i rally to a flag i'm going to swap to this piece i'm going to rally then i'm going to swap back to my original piece that just gives me a couple more shots of my linear fusion for example for this build so i have a couple more shots of linear fusion for you know that attempt at that uh instance in a in a raid or a dungeon or whatever you know wherever you're you're planting that flag and and trying to do that uh um that pve interaction um you'll have extra ammo by doing that um this piece let's just go ahead and look well okay i want well of tenacity sure so well of tenacity there i've got my scavenger here this is a part where maybe maybe i don't want to have 
um, radiant light here, right? Maybe I want to have radiant light down here and just not have reactive pulse just because maybe right now I want to have a linear fusion scab, but maybe I want to have one extra energy so that I could have a machine gun scab. You know, this season it's for one. There you go. Lots of uh, energy saved there, but maybe I want to have rocket scab and it's not available for this season for one. So maybe this build isn't where I want it to be and I need to move a couple things around. So I just have one extra energy slot there so I could pick any different scavenger that I want to do. Um, it's all up to whatever your build is going to need to be for that season or that activity. Maybe you need, you know, machine guns or rockets instead of linear fusion. Maybe you don't need any of those and you need aero scavenger, which is cheaper. It's all just kind of up to whatever you want to do in that, you know, activity, like how that affects what your build requirements are. Uh, and then your class item is always going to be some kind of, you know, outreach, bomber, whatever it is, whatever you can fit, wherever you need to fit it for your build. Um, I don't really need a whole lot uh, of discipline because my discipline is up to eight for this build, for this hypothetical. But maybe my strength is lower, so outreach isn't a bad choice for that. Um, it's all kind of just depends on how you feel, what your priorities are. Do I need more melee attacks? Do I need more grenades? Do I need more rifts and change it to stasis or void and get, you know, just a perpetuation or a utility kickstart? Whatever it is that your build requires. But now that all that is done, we're going to go back over... So I have made sure I have my three resilience, my recovery, my discipline. Now we're going to finalize the build out. We're going to make sure everything is up to date. So you want to hit this refresh. You could hit, you know, refresh for your browser itself, but you don't really need to just make sure that's refreshed so that it's going to set all of your weapons, all of your armor, everything that you had equipped, right? So you want to make sure that all your pieces are equipped, all your mods are equipped. Everything is exactly how you want it. You're gonna go here, create loadout. I'm just gonna say uh, loadout three or whatever you wanna name it, like King's Fall, Solar Warlock or whatever it is. Fill in using equipped. And then all of your mods that you had picked, all of the weapons that you had picked, all the armor pieces, even down to your fashion, your subclass, everything that you picked for this build is gonna be here, right? So you're all set to go. You fill in and then save it. And then it's there whenever you need to change. So you can change to something else. And then whenever you need to go back to whatever loadout three is for, you can just click that and it'll automatically load everything that you don't have, wherever your armor pieces are, whether they're in the vault or, you know, just in your inventory, wherever your weapons are, even if your weapons are on a different character, all of it's gonna be sent to your character that you wanna play on. For this instance, my Solar Warlock. Boom, ready to go. Everything's set. Um, so yeah, Dim, D2 Armor Picker for making builds, setting all your things, saving everything. Very, very useful. Recommend anyone and everyone to, uh, to give those a try. If this is helpful, hopefully that's good. Uh, I made this for one specific person that I was talking to about builds that didn't know about DIM or D2 Armor Picker. So hopefully this is a good kind of basis tutorial. Play around with it. Uh, my best recommendation is practice things, play around, you know, get used to them yourself. Okay, what is this different, you know, ability of DIM or this D2 Armor Picker, you know, kind of setting? What does that do? How does that affect? How can I help myself to make a very very complicated game like destiny 2 a little bit easier to manage and and deal with all your weapons and and your different builds together so uh highly recommend doing any of that and now i'm going to get on with my stream so